In this part two of three, we pursue the next learning objectives in our sequence. Um, they are Bloom's taxonomy and the knowledge learning and instruction framework uh, categorized knowledge components along four dimensions. At the end of this deck are some extra slides about strategic reading advice. So let's start with this one about Bloom's taxonomy. Bloom's taxonomy organizes kinds of learning objectives, knowledge, and associated assessments. In the original learning, it was more about learning objectives and kinds of assessment. The newer version, which we show in the next slide, does in fact have greater similarity to the CLE framework um, in the ways that it specifies kinds of knowledge. Here is that newer version of Bloom's taxonomy. Uh, there's the knowledge dimension and as in CLE, the Bloom's taxonomy uses knowledge in a, in a very general sense. Uh, I think sometimes knowledge is used in an everyday sense to mean verbal knowledge or closer to the factual or maybe conceptual knowledge here. The kinds of tacit procedural knowledge that we acquire as skills, for example, skills at your first language, um, are considered by some not to be knowledge because it's not verbally expressed. Metacognitive knowledge similarly is also tacit, typically, or implicit, uh, although you can also have explicit or declarative awareness of your metacognitive knowledge. And there are some categories within these, and I encourage you to, to read through this in more detail. Uh, another dimension is the cognitive process dimension here, and this is the one that is more familiar and suggestive of layers of kinds of complexity of questions. So remembering is the first layer. Understanding is the second one. That's constructing meaning from instructional messages, whether they're in speech, that is oral, written, or graphical communication. Uh, apply is the third level, carry out or use a procedure in a given situation. Then the subsequent levels are Four, to analyze, break material into constituent parts, to evaluate, make judgments based on criteria and standards, or to create. So with analyze and evaluate, you're often given some kind of artifact or, or situation to inspect, to either analyze or to evaluate. Um, in creation, uh, you're producing something new, constructing something new, as is indicated in 6.3 below. There is a temptation to take Bloom's taxonomy as a value judgment such that six is better than five is better than four. There is some sense in which if you just stop at one, there's very few domains where that's gonna be adequate. Maybe for vocabulary, uh, say in a med school course on, an, or a, a biology course on anatomy, moving up the levels, making sure a course is addressing or, or a unit is addressing more of the higher levels is, is definitely in a part of how Bloom's taxonomy is used to encourage better instructional design. One kind of exercise you can do to uh, help assess your own understanding and, and, and just get some experience with using uh, Bloom's taxonomy is to go back to the previous part one and see if you can uh, assign the Bloom's levels to the logo goals and assessments of debugging. How do they fit into Bloom's taxonomy? And certainly, if you try that exercise and feel any ambiguity, bring that up in our uh, discussions and chat.